So what we found was that um, there was certainly signals of activity in multiple different sarcoma subtypes. I want to highlight the point that um, these were patients that were extensively pretreated. Um, more than 50% had had more than uh, three, three or more, more, uh, I'm sorry, more than 50% of patients that had three or more lines of prior therapy. And the average duration on systemic therapy before enrolling in the trial was only about 100 days. Um, so I think it's important that we put the, the result into that context that these are patients who are heavily pretreated. Uh, so we did find that UPS, again, we're seeing a signal of activity. Two patients had partial responses. Uh, we had a D-diff chondrosarcoma patient that also had stable disease, and another one who actually had decrease in tumor burden and a confirmed partial response uh, for well over a year. Um, we're seeing lots of activity in androsarcoma. Um, I think androsarcoma, we've it's been described that angiosarcoma patients respond to checkpoint inhibitors, but mostly in the head and neck subgroup. And what we found in this trial is that of the five patients enrolled, there was one confirmed partial response, four stable disease, and two with decrease in uh, tumor burden, one with a liver primary, and a second with a paravaginal tumor, uh, where we haven't seen a lot of responses described to date. In addition, there was another leiomyosarcoma patient that did appear to respond. And finally, uh, in D-diff liposarcoma, while there were no actual responses, there were numerous patients that had prolonged disease stability, and these were patients that had progressive disease prior to enrolling on, on trial. So in summary, I think I would say that there's certainly uh, hints, of clinical hints of clinical activity in multiple different subtypes, and really thinking about where to go from here is important. And from my perspective, exploring this in a treatment-naive setting probably makes most sense. We're seeing in the immunotherapy space that using immunotherapy soon rather than later probably makes a difference and if we're really trying to modulate the microenvironment we may want to do that in a treatment naive setting.